Today we're going to learn how to make a 3D paper snowflake. I'm going to use five pieces of white paper, scissors, tape, and optional is a writing utensil. Your first step is to take the paper to make a square, fold it into a triangle, make sure the edges line and that your corner is straight, then fold the crease. After that is done, you will have a square piece of paper. After it is cut, you're going to fold it in half again. When it is folded, you're going to want to cut along the open corner towards the end that is folded. So you're going to cut, see how that opens this way? You're going to cut towards here. But you're going to want to stop before you get to the edge by about an inch. That's where the writing utensil would be optional. You would need a straight edge, but since I do not have that, I'm going to use another piece of paper. And you would trace along and stop Mommy. right before you hit the edge. Mommy. It is very important not to go towards Mommy. that edge. Mommy. Go ahead and cut them. Mm. I have made four straight cuts. Now we're going to open it. And this is what it looks like. Our next step is to flatten it. And we're going to take the outside edges, bring them together, and tape them. Once the outside edges are taped, you're going to take the next outer edge and fold them on the opposite end and tape them. This is what you should have. One side with the larger edge, then the next edge. Now we're going to go back to the larger edge and do the next inside. Continue this, rotating which side the edges get taped on. This is what your snowflake piece will look like if done correctly. Switching from one side to the other to tape it. Now I want you to continue that for all the other four pieces. Remember, fold in half. I have an artist helping me. Cut along the side that opens towards the folded edge, but don't cut all the way towards the folded edge. Then tape the pieces, alternating from one side to the next until you have five pieces that look like that. After you have all five of your snowflake pieces cut, you are going to take them by the edge and connect them. So you would take two and you can either staple or tape them. I'm going to tape them right where my fingers are pinching them together. Continue this with all five until they are connected. Once they're connected, they will look like this. You can spread them out. And next we are going to connect them by the outer pieces. So see how this one, this is the outside piece. This one's the outside piece. You're going to connect them either by staples or tape here. And you're going to continue that until all sides are connected. And when it is done, you will have a 3D star snowflake. To hang it, you can either put a string through the middle or a string through the top and make it a star. Congratulations, you have made a 3D snowflake. If you would like to use alternating colors, I'd recommend using six edges so that you have like blue or green, red, green, red, green, and two colors wouldn't match because these would both be green. You'd have a red one in between. But I, this is how you make a five pointed snowflake. If you want to keep adding more and more, you can, but this is my example. Have a great day.